Joining us via telephone is the Commissioner for Education, Lagos State, Falashade Adefisayo. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Do we have the Commissioner? Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on the news. Thank you for having me. All right. Uh, the students have been home for two weeks and there's an extension. Are there plans to ensure that the school um, studies don't suffer? Well, we, you, know, you know, we've been uh, having classes on radio and television for the past two weeks. We anticipated this. And we had actually thought about various scenarios and we thought that this might be extended. So there's still a lot more material and okay. we'll continue. Okay, what, what about those that may not have access to the radio even, as little as that might seem? There are people in some areas, slums for instance, in parts of Lagos that don't have such access. What are the plans to ensure that they don't um, lag behind? At this point in time, because of the need to keep a safe distance from most people, we cannot have physical classes. And we sat down and thought about what was the mass way, what the, the mass method of uh, communicating. And we know it's by radio. Uh, most people can afford to have radio. It's even on these small uh, um, what you call handsets. And it's available, it's the most ubiquitous, it's the most available. And that's why we decided to use uh, radio. Uh, we are also looking into the possibility of using, of going on the internet and giving our students devices. But we still don't have enough devices for our students. So, and that's why we haven't given those out. So for now, we'll concentrate on radio and we are using at least three stations. And we are talking to a fourth station so that out of all these, we think people will at least a significant uh, number of students will be able to listen to our programs. What, what, what strategies are there? Currently, we know that e-learning about, has about 40% uh, penetration in Nigeria. What strategies at this time do you have, aside from you know, getting these tablets, to penetrate a little more so more students and pupils can get access to e-learning? I'm not sure about your 40% statistic, I must say, because I, I, I don't know how many people have access to data that they can use for e-learning. But um, I guess we can, can look for, uh, try and find out more. But uh, what we're saying is the, the tablets also have reduced. Okay, before you move on, I want to know what percentage do you think that e-penetration has um, in these parts? I'm not going to be able to, I don't like uh, spewing off statistics unless I'm certain. But okay. the internet penetration, I'm not sure, is up to 40%. I, I hope you'll be able to tell me your source so that I too will find out. But I'm not sure it's up to 40%. All but right, go ahead. If that, so that said, not that many children have access. Because to have access, you must have a device. You must have a laptop, you must have a tablet or a phone. A smartphone, not just any phone. And so, and that's why we are trying to launch this one million naira, uh, sorry, one million systems, so that we can give them to as many of our students as possible. And we've negotiated free, free internet for at least six months, free data for six months, so that they can tie in with the radio. The teacher can teach and say, oh, turn to your tablets, turn to so, so, so. So that's what we are working on for now. That, that means that we really have talked to, to a telco and they've given us this free internet. Okay, let, let's look at the education uh, sector, the effect that it has had in the past uh, 14 days and going forward post-COVID, should we um, get to that point, as we will. Uh, let me be a little more positive. Um, what are you going to do a little differently? What are you learning from these experience that you uh, take forward? It's quite clear from what has happened that we just cannot, it cannot be business as usual. We'll have to reassess the way we teach and the way our students learn. We have found that 
going on radio and uh, television at times has been very interesting for the students. They, 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 it, it's led to what you call, it, it, it's taught them to be independent learners in that they can now sit at home, study by themselves, learn by themselves, and by the time we are able to build internet into it, they'll be able to have what you call a personal learning community and will be able to communicate with you know, their colleagues, their teacher, and so on. And so this, this is unconsciously building what they call the 21st century uh, skills of uh, collaboration, of teamwork, of being a lifelong, lifelong learner. And so we are very excited about it. We don't want to stop it. Okay. In fact, the students have asked that we should not stop. And so, therefore, we are exploring ways by which after this post-COVID, and like you said, it will end. All things eventually will pass. This too will pass. Mm -hmm. And so when it passes, how do we ensure that we, do, we continue to teach children this way? Because they like it. So why not teach children the way they like to learn? And so, and so that, that, that's one of our major strategies now. Our major learning is that we have to make learning more engaging for our students. Okay, before I let you go, um, Commissioner, I wanted to find Thank out you. what you specifically would say to students and pupils who might be seeing this as a holiday and not uh, taking seriously their schoolwork. Uh, I think we should all understand that this cannot be a holiday. And by the way, with most students, they get bored after a while, even if it's a holiday and they want to start doing certain things. So I will keep telling and advising children to learn as much as possible at this time about their schoolwork, about life in general, bond with their parents, talk to them, find out who their parents are and enjoy the home experience so that if you look at this and say look it's not an experience that i really like but it's it's what it is and since this is what it is how do i make the best of it and so i urge most students to try and learn as much as possible during this period all right thank yeah. you very much for sharing you. your time with us under news thank you mm -hmm.